Good morning, guys. Good morning, Ellie. Good morning, and welcome to today. Now that Gabby's a school girl, it's Sophie that's out helping on the farm. Usually, Sam and Gabby do all the hard work, <laughs> all, to, all the heavy work. Anyway, welcome to today. Sam was out early this morning. He got himself some new screws, and now he is out here working on our table, our milking table. Like, I can't believe we have a milking table. I'm so excited. Anyways, this, I'm gonna show you guys how it works in case you don't know what a milking table is. But probably most of you guys do, because you always seem to know everything. No. And I mean that in a kind way. Put it like... Well, let's see. How far open would it go? So I was thinking, he put it like really close. Like, he put it like that close. That's too small, I think. Yeah. So I went like this. That's probably too big. They could get their head out of that, no problem. Yeah, but then this thing swings closed. Yeah, but could they pull out there? No. Yeah. No, they're horns. Uh, maybe. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it to you because I believe in you and I trust in you. I'm put it this way. But be, I posted open more, and then it could. I posted open. pictures of Sam in yesterday's or the other day when he was yeah. down in the other barn yeah. helping me out and looking like a farmer with the goats. And people be thinking you look cute, Sam. I said he looks younger and better as a farmer, and everybody agreed. I am cute. I know. <laughs> I'm a lucky lady. Sophie says we look old. <laughs> anyway, welcome to today's video. Um, I have a couple of things I wanna get done today, but today we're gonna to try and relax a little bit, even though that's hard for us to do. I did a few coats of paint on this thing. It doesn't look awesome. It's not gonna look awesome, but I'm gonna do some stuff inside right now to make it nicer. I washed it like this proof. <laughs> But literally, I've been washing this for days and it just does not come clean. Like, it's awful. <laughs> All right, I'll wash it again. <laughs> but I've been washing it for days. Getting this thing clean before I paint it is gonna be a disaster. It's all rusted on the bottom. So I'm gonna do something different to make it usable. So I'm hoping to use these two things that I found in the house <laughs> to make it work. So, it's close. All right, what did we do wrong? Nothing. <laughs> Famous last words. Can you shave it down? But I think it's because you put it too tight, maybe. In the plans that I found, there's a shelf here that we put a bucket of grain on, but we decided we're gonna try something different. That works better. All right. So in the plans, it was curved out here to make it nicer for their necks. Well, it was different too. It was different what they used. Is actually he's adding more to it, but we need like a bucket. This bucket's dirty; it had pears in it. Um, that you could screw here, but I want something less. I want something. Oops! I want something more shallow so that they can put their head in. So this is what they'll look. It'll look like there'll be like a bucket attached to it, and you lock their head in there, and they eat and you milk them. Ellie and I have the same hairdo. The goose is around. Look, Ellie, look. Look at them, look. See if it has the bags. We have this, yeah, we have the same hairdo. Ellie. <laughs> Ellie is not a cuddly dog. <laughs> look at her. That's my favorite one. So we actually have like 12 chickens. The fact that I'm holding, ow, oh, jeez Louise. <laughs> that one runs funny. It also pecks. All right, so he added a little hook. So they can't just move their head and slide it. We're gonna tr take it down in a few minutes and try it with a goat. Or the reason I wanted this made now instead of like during milking season, which is next summer, is because we do their teeth, we do their Hopefully feet. That's enough for their neck. Yeah, I don't know. Looks too narrow. You should take this one out and then put it closer. Well, that's what I mean, like I can move it. Yeah, we'll see when we take it down. But anyway, we want to be able to like train them now to use the milking stand. I want them to get excited about it. We did it really low because they're small. That's how big it is in the video. Though. Yeah, that's fine. I'm sure it's fine. We wanted it low so they can just jump up by themselves. They don't have to, we don't have to build a ramp. And I just want them to get used to it now. We can, we can attach them to this and do their feet. And then we can like be able to touch their teats and, and their udders and, and just like handle them and get them used to it. 
Yeah, we're not doing that for Tilly. Yeah, Tilly's the worst one. She needs to be on this thing all the time. <laughs> okay, it's not done. It's not beautiful, and I'm gonna explain why. But this is what I have. <laughs> this is it. All the way down, yellow in the back, white on the top. I might put more stuff on here. But it's nice and clean, more fresh. It's not completely done, but you know what's interesting? I needed some kind of adhesive to stick that stuff on the back wall. And I'm like, oh, how am I gonna, like, what am I gonna use to do that? And then I was thinking, when I found the chalkboard paint in there, I found multi-purpose adhesive. <laughs> Another sign, people, and it worked great. Are you still working on lights? I love this barn. I do this, but I this, this barn makes me so happy. Oh, there it is. Simple, but this is not gonna be simple. So one of these things, thinking I could use it, but then I forgot this three prong can't work. Oh, so there's. So now I have to uh, change it. Change so this there's whole a. Picture. Oh, all right, we'll do that. Yeah. So Sylvie and I are actually going to practice learning to hand milk. I've I've milked before. What have I milked? A mm. fake cow. <laughs> That's what you've milked. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> the Royal Winter Fair. Yeah. So anyways, I, I still remember that. It was embarrassing. <laughs> I have milked I've milked goats before. I can't remember when. We've we've had like a big animal past. But anyways. Um, so we're gonna hand milk, but Sam's buying a milking machine. I guess he just doesn't have faith in us. I don't either. <laughs> so I'm not doing it. Definitely easier. But anyway, there's a plug there. We'll be able to set this up. We'll be able to put notes on that blackboard there. Cleaned off our fan the other day to get rid of the cobwebs. Yeah, All right, Sophie. I know. <laughs> I don't know how to clean these windows. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. I'll use a vacuum. Get there, go in there yeah, we need to put a bucket. Like, if I got a bucket like that white one, oh, which... I could screw that in. All right. I have lots of those. So screw that sucker in and we'll use it. Do that right I don't now. have screws right now. <laughs> you just went and bought screws. I know. They're all... Out of oh, well, we'll go get them for you. Yeah, go get them, Mom. I'll go get them for you. We're going to see if it's going to work first. Oh, yeah. It'll work. All right. It'll work. I need, like, three, three or four screws. All right. <coughs> five screws. All right. And then uh, yeah, I need my drill bit. Yeah. All right, it's done. This is it. I don't know if we should put wood underneath there, like a couple of boards, just sticking out to reinforce it. Here comes our first victim. <laughs> so we won't be, we won't be milking this goat for another year. <laughs> but probably another year and a half. So put her down at the bottom of it and see if she can jump up. Good girl. Come here. Yeah. How tight is it? Can she get back? That's too tight. Is it too tight? No, she's moving her head. You think the big ones won't be able to? So look, we can yeah. touch her, lift up her. Oh, she can't pull her head off of that. Side. Yeah, that's true. We have to get on both sides, but we don't really need to get on both sides. And for this foot. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Our girl, one girl, is kind of aggressive. <laughs> she's try it with a giant. Yeah, let's try a big one. Here we go. <laughs> I love it. Do you think it's too tight, though? No. Um, right. Well, I'm going to make it looser. In the morning when I let them out, I do chores down here by myself now. Uh, it's so hard for me to get them to go Tilly, outside. <laughs> Tilly McGuire. All right, Mocha, it's your turn. You're going to love it. I mean, hi Mocha, what do you think? Yeah, yeah it's gonna take a little bit of slowly getting them used to it. Yeah. Just putting them up there to do their feet and to just. Yeah, the only problem is you need like a railing. Yeah, I size. She's gonna fall off. And her head's gonna be caught, so that's dangerous. But we're gonna be here and they're gonna get used to it. They're gonna learn it. Yeah, once they're used to it. Like every, doing. I've noticed with the goats, well, literally they do. Like, what I can do is put like a small... No, because we need to sit on there. Side. We need to sit on there, especially yeah. when we're doing their feet and stuff. Notice with the goats that you do something with them twice and they've got it memorized. Like you they... just have a bucket here. You yeah. <laughs> You're not invited in here. So the chickens are definitely moving around more. All right, so this is the final look of my first aid cabinet. It's not completely done. I'm going in right now to print labels. But this is what it looks like. I basically had to 
turn these things sideways because they didn't fit the long way. The door wouldn't close. These are all my needles. These are all, I should put all my needles in one thing and then have more room. But these are medications. Um, so this is what it looks like. Obviously I need more things. Uh, these are like all my needle stuff. This is all my bandage stuff. This is all my like syringe stuff medications. And I have like my banamine and my bute, some peroxide duct tape. Then I have all my standing wraps, um, some books. I have another book that I need to put in here to keep it safe. But anyway, that's it. I'm gonna print labels and put labels on all of these things. Oh, I have the vet wrap. These are the ones that we bought yesterday. We already used two rolls. We go through it a lot. My scissors, a hoof pick, my stethoscope. All the stuff. I don't know if I have like more room to put stuff in here, so it works. Also, I found our milking stool. I'm gonna take that down to the other barn because when winter comes or when uh, milking season comes, I'm gonna be able to sit on this and milk. I love coming in and a man cooking. You're a jack of all trades. They should have named you Jack. Yeah. Did you know Jack yeah. is my favorite man's name? My favorite boy name in the whole world? Oh, I love that name. Anyway, I'm excited. Yeah. I just came in. I was hungry. I love sausages. So this is a blanket that I've been making for Gabby. I started a couple weeks ago and then never finished it. But I'm at the point now where I'm almost finished it. It's just like a afghan. It's all the old wool that I had sitting around. So it's just like a bunch of old wool that I had laying around and I just threw it all together. The colors kind of all coordinated a bit. So I was making it and then I was excited to have it for myself <laughs> because it's really long. When I'm sitting here watching TV, it's so super cozy. Like you would not believe how cozy and warm it is. But she came along and she saw it and she said, I want a blanket. <laughs> so now it's Gabby's. I was going to explain why my cabinet does not look beautiful and I was going to say that I'm an active person. I have to be busy all the time and like being tied down and stuck to something for a long time like that just doesn't work for me. So I try and rush through it and just get it done. I'm not a perfectionist when it comes to like creating stuff like that. But then I showed you that I just made this blanket. <laughs> so obviously I can sit down and do stuff. But the reason I, I can make this blanket is because at night when everyone's watching TV, I cannot sit and watch TV. I just can't sit and watch TV. It's, to me, that's so boring. No matter what show it is, it's just too boring for me. So I have to listen to the TV while I crochet. It's like the only way that I can watch TV. So if I want to spend time at night watching TV with my family, then I need to be able to have, do something with my hands. But after all that, I think I'm just not good at home renovation and building stuff and making stuff. I don't enjoy it. I get frustrated by it. I'm not designed like that. Most of my biological family are all good at making stuff, at renovating and at fixing stuff. I don't enjoy it. It just feels frustrating to me. But making stuff like this blanket, I can do. So I guess it just goes to show you that everyone is created differently and God has a plan for all of our lives. <laughs> yeah. And it's okay to be, and it's okay to be you, and it's okay to not have a perfect first aid cabinet for your horses. As long as it's functional, I'm happy. Don't you know that you're beautiful?